Streak CRM for beginners. Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at a free software for CRM customer relationship management uh, that you can integrate on your Google account or on your Gmail account. It's free, it's lightweight, and it's really user friendly. So if you're a beginner, this is great for you. So let's hop into it. First off, you're going to go on streak.com and then you're going to add the Chrome extension. And it's very easy to add this extension and integrate your Gmail account. If you're using Safari, you're just going to open streak.com on Safari and add the extension over there. I am using Gmail over here and I'm just going to add this extension. It's only going to take you like a couple of minutes to add this extension and get started. So once I set this up, I'll be back. Okay, my extension has been installed and now you can see over here the little icon has popped up. This is my streak CRM icon. So if I have some easy type of management things that I need to do, I can just click on this and I can, you know, pin it to my toolbar if I like and I can view some of the important stuff, important notices or anything like that over here. Now I'm on my Gmail account and you can see you can just go to Gmail directly using the streak CRM. Now what this is going to do is what you're going to do is sign into your Google account. You're going to allow streak to actually read and do all that with your emails. Now you're going to tell them if you're using it for a team, if you're a company. So let's just say it's just you and you can create your pipeline using Streak. So how do you do that? So you're just going to create your first pipeline and you might be wondering why you need to create a pipeline and what pipelines really are. Well, pipelines are essentially the all-in-one manager for your sales. So you have your sales process, your project hiring process, your support tickets, your customers, your leads, and your prospect all in one place. So that is why you're going to create a pipeline. And let's just say you have different stages. So these stages are how things are going to happen in whatever industry you're working on. So maybe the first stage, let's say you are uh, running your online store. So let's just say we have orders, then you have your confirmed orders have shipped orders then you're probably gonna have accepted and you're gonna have maybe returns and then you're gonna delete these because they are too many fields and at the last you'll have completed and then below that you have your fields so let's just say that each box is gonna track whatever stage that your deal is on so the first date that your process actually begins to the last day relating to whatever industry you're working in is going to be tracked using these fields. Now, if you take a look at the left, you have your sales, you have your different projects, you have your business division, your hiring, job search, investors, fundraising, orders, real estate, selling, support and custom pipeline. So you can see you can create any one of these pipelines just to get started. So Let's just say we are doing a uh, pipeline. We're creating this hiring pipeline and you're just going to click on create. And now you can add different people to your pipeline. And this is the general view of your pipeline. So you can see over here, this is where all of the resumes will be. After that, you will have your phone screen, people that have been interviewed, people that have been, uh, you know, internally decided, offer negotiation, hired, passed, and keep warm. So you can see different stages that have been created just by using this quick and easy to use template. You can also import data into your spreadsheet. That is your pipeline, you could say. And there is a lot of different visualization you could do. So you could add these combo charts, bar charts, column charts, line charts, pie charts, and you also have different stages. So if you want to create another stage or you want to change the color scheme, you can also do that. There's a lot of customization that is available. Maybe let's just change the color scheme to show you guys. Let's make it pink because I really like it. So let's just say we've saved it to be pink. And now once I refresh this, it's going to be all pink. Let's just do that. I'm going to go to your Gmail. Your pipeline is being loaded. You can see over here your streak homepage and here we go now we have a very pink 
hiring form. And you can see in these settings, you also can export your data. You also have reports, newsfeed, and data validation. So these are all very helpful tools. Now you can link directly to this pipeline. So if you want to add a certain teammate, you want to give someone access to the pipeline, you can just copy this link and they can join it uh, without having to, you know, uh, get their email or whatever. And then you can also have these filter boxes. So you can choose a maybe, you know, reason for passing and add these different filter boxes so everyone has a good idea of why someone was passed on or you know what are the determined limits or qualifications that you are looking for now you can create different pipelines for different purposes on streak so you can see on the left you have this plus icon and let's just say now i'm going to show you how to create a sales pipeline so you're just going to take this sales format you you can change the color to whatever you like this time i'll go for red because we've already gone for pink and i don't want you guys to get bored so you can share this with your team or you can make it private and you're gonna create your pipeline. This is taking a couple of minutes, I don't know why, but now you can see you have two different pipelines. So your sales are separated from your hiring and you can keep everything organized and categorized based on the side of the company that it's going to occur in. So people that are working in sales are probably not gonna be the ones that are hiring people so you can create separate pipelines to separate their workflow and make it more easier for everyone to work so you can see over here now this is your first column it's leads so if you click on this plus icon on on your left side of your screen you can add a box and what this will do is just add this box below it and you're gonna add the lead name so let's just say you have a new lead called Kara and this person is a lead and then you can add more information about them. So their contact and organization, their email, their lead source and anything you might want to add. So your deal size, industry, priority or the closing date and the person that this lead has been assigned to. And just like that, you have selected this lead and you can just click on that icon and now you can get all of the details about this certain lead that you have. You can fill in this lead. You're just going to do it once and then you don't have to redo it again and again. And anyone else in the team can uh, follow up with them or view their general information just by clicking on the lead's name. Now, going back to your pipeline. So you can see we have added this sample lead. And what happens if you have contacted the lead? What you're going to do is just click on the lead name. You can see it's at the first stage. So then you're going to click on maybe if you contact them, you pitch them, you've demoed them and you've started negotiating. You're just going to click on negotiating and that will move your lead forward to the center that it's actually at. And then you, you can see over here that you have one person in negotiating. So just to show you guys, I will do this again. And let's just say we have another lead called May. And then she is you that's just another lead and you can set their priorities so let's make her a low priority and then let's create another lead that is april <laughs> and then we can add their priority as high and then once you do that so if both of them are moved to the maybe pitched section Everyone at the pitch section or everyone at that moment will know which candidate to maybe focus on first or contact first because they are a high priority client. So you can also quick add your leads or you can just add them by name. If you quick add them, all of their personal data is going to be auto filled. So if you have anyone's email, you can add them via email. So if you want to add someone like that via email, you're just going to click on your empty lead and once you do that, you're just going to create an empty lead and then you're going to click on this plus icon and click on quick add. Once you do that, you're just going to add whatever lead you want. So you can see over here, I have added this lead 
and now their contact information has been added their email and if you just take a look at them you can get their first name any kind of detail that has already been present that you already have is going to be added over here now if you receive a new lead and you want to add them to your streak pipeline so maybe you just started talking to someone and you think they are a potential lead you're just going to click on their email and then you're going to see this streak icon pop up you're going to click on their name so if you want to add just this specific thread or them in general you're just going to click on that and then you're going to have this option so you can add them in either streak so let's just say we're going to add them in sales and let's say they are someone that you think are a potential lead you can assign them to whoever you want if you have more team members and then you're just going to add any personal field information that you might have and just like that you have added another person in your streak pipeline so you can add people via your direct inbox and you know get started on everyone all together and you can send all of your uh, leads emails together so you don't have to retype everything all over again you can see just as i did over there i added joanna chippo into my leads and now on my streak pipeline she is showing up over here at the top now streak provides with a lot of very great emailing features so i think the basic are the top three i must say are the email tracking the snippets and the email scheduling so let's just say we're going to contact this email so if we just click on that we're going to contact them let's say our subject is a welcome you can see over here at the bottom there is this square little tool you're going to click on that and then you can turn on your email tracking so this will allow you to see when they have actually opened their email and this is a very useful feature to actually take a look if people are actually viewing your emails or if they're just going to the bin then you have your snippets so snippets is something that allows you to make a pre-written draft so let's just say this is a standard welcome email that you're going to send to everyone that joins or, you know, purchases something from your website. And let's just say we set the shortcut code to 01A and you can type a very basic and striking uh, welcome email that you don't have to retype over and over again. So let's just say we're going to write. And once you type a very a uh, standard kind of snippet you're going to create that and from snippets now you're just going to add this and you can see all of this standard text has been added so if it, you, you can make it as lengthy as you want i just typed in something short just to show you guys how it actually works and then you can just send it to your customer and like that this will save you a lot of time and a lot of extra effort that you really didn't need to put in you also have your email scheduling. So if you want to schedule a emails, maybe you're going to have a sale or you're going to have a certain event and you want to have a scheduled email plan for it, you're just going to schedule your email. So you can see you can make it at any time you want. You can make it at any date you want. Let's just say you want it at tomorrow 8 a.m. Everyone's going to receive a notification that a sale is going to happen or some event is happening so that's going to also streamline your work a whole lot so that was it for today i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and i will catch you guys in the next video